everybody, Derek Pierce here and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be diving into some simple tweaks that you can make to increase your affiliate commissions and how you need to structure your affiliate pages. This is a pickup from where we left off in the previous video where we were dealing with affiliate marketing on a page by page basis. I'm going to show you some things that you can do to really increase and ramp up your affiliate commissions. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I release new videos every single week and would love to see you here. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give this a thumbs up. It's 100% free and it helps me get found in the algorithm. So with that being said, let's go ahead, let's dive in the computer. I'm going to show you exactly how to pull this whole thing off. So the main thing that you want to do as an affiliate marketer that is creating content on your blog and trying to rank your stuff, whether it's YouTube videos or whether it is, you know, ranking a website is you want to be sure that you're selling the click. So if you're doing a YouTube video and you are promoting something and you're showing how to use something, then what you want to do is lay it all out and just say, look, click on the link that you see in the description and let them know where they can get the particular product. Same thing on the blog. Whenever you're creating content, you want to sell the click. I did a video some time ago about creating sales funnels and do you really need a sales funnel if somebody is targeting, if you're targeting specific terms like trial, coupon code, and discount code? And the answer is no. A lot of times people just want the damn link to get the best deal, especially if they went through the process of understanding that they've got a problem, now they know the name of the product that they want to possibly use, and now they're just looking for the absolute best price on that particular product. You don't want to send them through this complex funnel. So what you want to do is you just want to simply sell the click. And when you're creating a blog, what you want to do is you want to create relevant content or relevant offers to your content, what I should say. As an example, if we were using this particular post as an example, this is one that we just created, how to customize your YouTube channel. If I were to have something that I was promoting related to real estate investing, it's not going to resonate well. So you'll see a lot of times people just put in, in the sidebar, they will just have a blanket ad about crypto or about investing, and then they're talking over here about YouTube ads. That doesn't, that doesn't add up, it doesn't make sense. So what you wanna do is, you want to be sure that the offer that you're promoting is relevant to the content. So in this example, relevant content would be how to, you know, how to start a business running YouTube ads. It would be how to rank YouTube videos in the search engines and get paid thousands of dollars in commission every single month. That would be a relevant offer, not something like real estate investing or crypto. So you can customize this very, very easily. And if you look on our site at thinktanklab.com, you will see different offers on a page by page basis specifically to what the content is. So for example, in this one, when I try to hit the back button, we've got a pop-up offer that is talking about a video ranking framework. So this is going to give you a video on how to rank videos and how to use the YouTube platform to rank videos inside both Google as well as YouTube. And then there is a offer at the very end of that to where you can join my particular program. So if we go into something else, let's just go down here. I'm gonna go to another page or two of mine here. If we look at Webinar Jam, Webinar Jam is something that I've promoted over the years because I truly believe in the webinar platform that they've got and they've got a great offer. They've got a trial offer for 14 days and then you're, once you use that, then uh, you're billed on a yearly basis and it's very economical. And then I think you've got like another 30 days to put it to the test after it rebuilds. But the bottom line is, is this is a good offer. And so what I wanna do is I wanna sell the click to get them over to the sales page to activate their trial for a dollar. And then that way I can get paid an affiliate commission and they get a good software in return as well. So what I'm gonna do is everything on this page is all allocated to get them to the next stage, which is to get them to click over to that particular offer. Otherwise, we're not gonna make any commission. So that's why you see such an in-depth piece of content here. And then you see what just happened right there. I have got, once you scroll down so far onto this particular page, we've got a pop-up. It looks a little bit like a chat bot. It looks personalized here with my picture on it. And then it says, hey there, before you go, do you wanna fully test out Webinar Jam for only a dollar for the next 14 days? Yes, activate my trial. Once you click on that, then it goes to the sales page for Webinar Jam with my affiliate link, so that way I'm gonna get credit for the particular sale. Now here's what's cool about this, is this only appears on this particular page, and I didn't have to do any kind of special coding or anything like that. It was done all automatically. I'm gonna show you exactly how I pulled this off here in just a moment. But let's go back here to the home page, and I'm gonna show you another page 
I'm going to show you every webinar. Every webinar, again, it's all owned by the same company, and they have a similar you know dollar trial for 14 days. And you can look here, see time on site. Uh, or once you scroll down so far into the page, you're going to see another one of these little chatbot looking pop ups it says, Hey there, test out the web Every Webinar platform. This is a totally different offer. So, Every Webinar, even though Every Webinar and Webinar Jam are owned by the same parent company, it's two different products and two completely different affiliate links. And as you can see, we've got a pop up here for Ever Webinar on the Ever Webinar page. And then we had a completely different pop up for the Webinar Jam page. And I'm going to show you here in just a moment, I've got completely different pop-ups on the other pages all so that way we can uh, sell the click and sell the offer and everything is congruent as opposed to trying to force the the offers that people don't really want people want if they're searching for webinar jam they want webinar jam if they're searching for ever webinar they won't ever webinar so that is one of the biggest keys and the cool part about this is this is not going to take a whole lot of effort on your part to pull something like this off but once i did this that's when the commission started going through the roof so i'm going to go to here my home page i'm going to scroll down i'm going to find my uh launch jacking guide that i just published a couple of months ago and so that way you can see i've done something totally different here on that so you can see here we've got this overlay where I've got you know this big in-depth tutorial about launch jacking and then once you click here it says grab the special offer for my launch jacking system and you click get this deal now there's a countdown timer on this so this is a pop uh, one of those ribbon pop-ups to where you're able to you know have a special offer going and there's a timeline for people to grab this particular offer if you click get this deal now then what's going to happen is it's going to go to the uh, to the checkout page where you can actually buy the product from there so that is how we're able to pull this off in several different types of pop-ups all depending on the particular offer again we're selling the click we're selling the offer now you can see here how I've structured all of this so that way we can sell the appropriate offer and sell the clicks with the appropriate page so that way the content stays relevant throughout the entire site and literally we're looking at every single page as a separate unit so if you were to picture this as a big apartment complex let's say you got a 64 unit apartment building and each one of these pages has the ability to make you money this is going to far outperform anything that you do if you were to just stuffing the same offer across the entire website. So the way that I do this is using a software called ConvertBox. I'm going to show you this in action here and show you what you can pull off. You can see here some of the convert boxes that I have. Some of these are new here. I've disabled some. But what you want to do is click new convert box and you can give this convert box name. We're going to say we're going to call this think tank lab testing for DP. And then we're going to give this a group. This is going to be the Think Tank Lab group. We're going to click Select Convert Box Type. I just want to show you how you can pull this off. You've got an overlay pop up. That's a lot of what you saw in my examples where we've got the sticky bar or the ribbon bar that can be at the top or it can be on the bottom. That's the one that you saw with the launch jacking example. Then the call out model. This is the one that uh, that I showed you where it looks like a little chat bot opening up and it's just me, you know, with my picture there and, you know, hey, do you, before you go, do you want to check out the trial? Uh, click here now to activate the trial. That's that. You can also do a center module where it pops up into the center and you've got full uh the, the full ability to either do this on an exit pop or you can do this on a time you know, on a time sequence, like if they're there for five seconds or 10 seconds, or you could do it immediately when the page pops up. Then you've got the full page. That is the exit pop that you saw there at the end where it took up the entire screen. Now, something that's cool is sometime last year, ConvertBox created this embeddable section. This was the one drawback that I had with ConvertBox was the fact that you couldn't embed these opt-in forms throughout the entire website, but now you're able to do that. So you can do this where you've got a large embed. This can actually go inside the content. So that way, if you've got a very in-depth guide with your content and you wanted something to appear there to give them a, you know, a free book or, you know, a, a free cheat sheet or something along those lines or a free video series, whatever your opt-in is, you can have that there. Small embed, this is going to be for what you plug in in your sidebar content uh, that you saw here on my site right here so you could do either one of those 
uh, we're going to click on overlay and I'm just going to walk you through some of these some of these and show you what these actually look like so we're just going to do this uh, the center one because that's the one that you did not see so you can see right here you've got several templates to choose from so I'm just going to pick one of these here we're going to click select and you can put in a graphic here you can if you want to take this out you you could do that as well uh, but this is the seven ridiculously simple hacks that doubled our sales download your copy now so at a full range of functionality of what you can do with the opt-in form as far as integrating with your autoresponder uh, there's so many different things that you can do depending on which type of convert box that you select the main thing that i want to show you here is the display functions with the triggers so you got this to where you can set this to where a visitor is on the page for five seconds. Well, we could change that. We could say we want them scrolling instead of time on the page. We can set this to, you know, 10 seconds or whatever. If we want to turn this off completely, we can. We can do this where they are scroll past 5%. We don't even have to have that if we don't. Period of no activity. If somebody's just sitting there on your page and you want to pop something up just to kind of wake them up a little bit, you have a period of no activity. Then you got page abandonment. Those are the exit pops when somebody goes to leave the page. It's going to follow their mouse over the browser. And once that happens, it's going to fire that pop up for that particular offer. Then you've got clicking a link on the page. So basically, what you could say is you just have a button that says, click here to get started it's going to open up the opt-in box so that way they can uh, they can opt in to whatever it is that you're offering so we're just going to leave this as time on page we're going to click done the frequency this is where you can set up all the different times that you want this to show so you can show this convert box to each visitor one time per session or you can say you know once per day once per week and then you can have a maximum number of times that that particular user is shown that particular convert box so this is all tracking this based on their ips landing on your site so when we can click done here so i'm going to show you that and then this is where it gets really cool so this is where you can segment based on the pages that you want to have this created so you can see right here you've got no inclusion rules yet or no included rules you can click add a display rule we want the exact URL to be so let's say we wanted this to be here on this particular page we could say we want this pop-up to be on this page and this page only then if we wanted to exclude pages let's say we wanted it across our entire site and we just wanted to exclude a handful of pages we can go to the exclusion tab right here and add and it looks just the same way we're just going to add those exclusion rules instead of include okay so once you get that set up then you click done but the key that i want to express here is that you can make as many of these convert boxes as you want and you can segment this based on the particular offer and the content that you've got going on so for me i've created a lot of pieces of content lately some of them are around youtube some of them are around youtube ads some of these have been about specific offer offers like webinar jam and every webinar so what i don't want to do is i don't want to have the same exact offer on all the pages i want to separate this out and this is a way that you can do this within just a matter of minutes super super simple now then we go to the next tab which is targeting you can have this to show to all visitors or you can target specific visitors and have these conditional rules set up some of these rules of how many times a page is viewed you can have this set up to where a number of pages viewed more than once so let's say for example somebody keeps coming back to your page you can say hey i noticed that you've seen this page several times what do we got to do to get you to get you inside and get you activated and and activate your trial uh, this is expiring real soon go ahead click here now and you can see there is a whole list of conditional rules that you can see here. Uh, you can have that where the, if they have not seen the convert box, um, if they if they are not on an active campaign list. So for example, I'm using active campaign. I'm using a Weber. Uh, if they are not on one of my lists, then we can we can um, we can target a convert box specifically to those people. Okay, so once you set that up, then you go to the launch phase, which is your convert box name. You set a set this to active, and, and then you can schedule a start and end time if you want to. So especially for those of you that are doing any kind of launches or anything like that, this can come in handy because you can schedule the time for when it goes live as well as when it ends. So this is convert box.
I'm going to include a convert box bonus for anyone that picks this up through my link. Just simply click in the description below. The main thing that I wanted to emphasize though was how you need to sell the click number one and two, how you can do this very easily with a tool like ConvertBox and I highly recommend this. I've been extremely happy with this particular tool. You'll find the link inside the description as well as a bonus that I put together. So hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.